everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Thea today's video is a pantry organization video I don't have a shot of my pantry before but let me tell you it was a mess I just had boxes of food and bags it was kind of organized by like type but it didn't look very nice and I personally am a very organized person I really like tangibly organizing things and so I recently decided that it was time to organize my pantry. I will list and link everything that I possibly can down in the description below in case you want to check out any of the products that I use to organize. If any of you endeavor to organize your pantry after watching this video, I would love to see pictures or videos of your own. But with all that being said, let's get into it. So I really wish that I had gotten a before shot of what my pantry looked like before I organized it. We're just gonna have to make do with the after shots. So this is my pantry. We have this really cute frosted glass decal. I'm not sure that there's really any way to show you this better, but it does say pantry here. The Y is just hard to see from this angle. So let me show you what it looks like inside. Ooh, ah. I'll give you a quick overview. So here's my pantry. Looks like that. I will go more in depth as to what is in each bin and on each shelf but there's just the basic overview these clear canisters up here are from amazon it was a 10 pack so i have seven of them on the top shelf and then i have three lower down in the pantry which i will show you in a little bit and these ones we are keeping like cereals and breakfast food cereal in these four and i actually put these little labels i cut the labels off of the regular packaging and put them in here so that I would know exactly what was in there. And then up here, this one has pancake mix. So then over here, we have a couple bins. These bins I got from the Dollar Tree. This is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted ones that were like square, rectangular, and white, and had a handle. And then all of these little tags I got from Amazon. They came in a pack of 12. They're just little chalkboard tags. And then I wrote on all of them with a white chalkboard marker. So this one I have all of my oatmeal and also some protein powder. I'll show you a couple of the bins more in depth just so you can get a sense of how I organized. But this one has oatmeal, this one has bread for toast, pita bread, hot dog buns, and then behind the bins you can't really see but there's a couple big things that didn't fit into any of them. So I was able to just put them behind the bins. There is pancake mix in the back there. You can kind of see the bottom of the blue bag. On to the second shelf here. This one has pasta. This one has other dinner food. So there's croutons, instant mashed potatoes, a couple of like um, chicken seasoning packets, stuff like that. This one has crackers. And I think there's also like microwave popcorn in there too that just didn't fit into any of the other categories and there was room in this one and then chips over here and again you can see there's a couple of things back behind there's two bags of chips that we haven't opened some like red lobster biscuits from costco but you can barely see them because they're hidden by the bins and so they don't make it look messier down here is some more snacks i am a big snack kind of person i don't eat a lot of like big heavy meals I typically snack throughout the day. Most of these are fairly nutritious and then of course we have like fruit and yogurt and string cheese and stuff in the fridge. But this one is, it says nuts, but it's really like the protein box. In this one you have things like beef jerky, nuts, we got these little like protein snack packs, stuff like that. And then cookies, and this one really is mostly cookies, which is kind of funny because we don't even eat cookies that often but they accumulate and then dried fruit over here is all of our granola bars i eat a ton of granola bars and then down here we have the bottom shelf and this is kind of miscellaneous here are the last few of the clear containers that we got and these are actually really cool i will show you these a little bit better in a second in these ones we have spaghetti noodles loose macaroni noodles and then rice and then over here we have a canned food organizer which is so cool. I am so excited about this purchase because all of our cans before were loose and like unorganized and it looks so much better now. This is soups, canned vegetables. This one is more miscellaneous stuff. In front there's like some homemade jalapenos, fruit. 
this one is like baking goods, coconut milk, canned pumpkin. Over here is like bread toppings, jam and almond butter, chickpeas because I love making roasted chickpeas, chili, and refried beans. We eat a lot of both of those. On the far side is again more miscellaneous stuff. This is butter, some more spreads, and behind that is some more homemade canned things some bouillon cubes, extra salsa, extra dressing. And then finally at the very bottom, those were all the shelves, but down here, I wanna say these were both from holler.com, but if they're not available there, I will try to link similar ones. They're just like under the shelf organizers. This is all of our grocery bags. So when we go grocery shopping, we try to use reusable bags, but if we forget, we stuff them in here and then use these for uh, trash can liners for the bathrooms. And then over here is all of Darcy's stuff, so his leash, his harness, his treats. We got his food over here. Behind that, you can't really see it, but there's some extra food. We have a couple boxes of cereal that we haven't opened yet, some Pure Leaf. This is all of our candy. Just anytime we get candy, we just stick it in the Halloween bucket. And then back here is juice. We have some Costco-sized lemon juice in the back, um, Costco-sized bag of chips that just didn't fit on the shelf and then our broom and Swiffer. And that is the pantry. So I wanted to show you one of these containers just because they're really cool. They're very hard plastic, very like sturdy and they feel like high quality. And then the lids are black and they have a little thing here. They cannot come off unless you open this up because then they're like vacuum sealed on there. If you push it that way, not vacuum sealed, you have to push it towards the small end and then it vacuum seals onto there so that it's airtight and food keeps a lot longer this way. So here is an example of what one of the bins look like. This is obviously the oatmeal one. So I have some individual portion sized oatmeals over here. These are just super easy for breakfast. I don't even really like oatmeal, but it's good for you and so I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. This is not the most healthy option because there is added sugar, but I think it's better than like these ones. And then over here is just plain oats. And then like I said, there's a couple like protein powders in here as well that just didn't have another home. And then another example is the pasta bin. We have a couple different types of like instant pasta, like, you know, just Kraft mac and cheese. Regular noodles, just plain noodles without cheese sauce or anything. And then over here are some little ramens that we got from an Asian food store. They're really, really spicy. We got these for Andrew, so I put them back here as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my pantry organizational video. If you would like to see more videos like this, let me know. I've also, you know, organized my bathroom under the sink or my car glove compartment. Just like anything that you want to see, let me know and I will get that to you guys. But I have a bunch of declutter and organizational videos on my channel, so I will leave my playlist with all of those videos down in the description below so you can check those out if you like. That is going to be it for me today, so until next time, I will see you all soon. Bye!